Welcome, today we start with a video based on Spring Boot 3.2.0. For the time being we are still using the snapshot version, we will have to wait a little longer for the official release. In this video we will explain how to use the new REST client. We start in Eclipse with the POM XML file. Spring Boot Starter 3.2.0 Snapshot and Java version 21. The Dependencies Spring Boot Starter Web In the application YAML file we have server port 8090. We use the endpoints of the JDBC client project from the previous video. We start with a record user. With username, password and enabled. In the user service we create the REST client with a builder and the base URL. And the following methods. Find all users. We return a REST client get request from the URL user and as body a parameterized type reference list user. The find user by username is also a get request from the URL user with path variable username. We return a body of type user class. The create user is a REST client post request. From the URL user and type application JSON and a user as body. And return a body less entity. The update user is a REST client put request. From the URL user and type application JSON and a user as body. And return a body less entity. The delete user is a REST client delete request. From the URL user with path variable username. And return a body less entity. The last class is the user controller. We make the user service available with constructor injection. And the methods. Find all users. Find user by username. Create user. Update user. And delete user. We can start up and test the projects with Insomnia. We can now test all endpoints with Insomnia. Get all users returns all users. Get user by username returns one user. Create a new user. If we now do a get all users we see the new user. Update a user. If we now do a get all users we see the adjusted user. And delete a user. If we now do a get all users we see that the user has been deleted. Thanks for following our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. You can find all the code on GitHub and all questions and comments are welcome. Thank you.